Hey, what's up guys? Imran here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do another test of the auto park feature, which is part of the full self-driving package that's available for the Teslas. They've had some recent updates that have come out and we're gonna talk a little bit about that, put it to the test and see how well it works. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right guys, welcome back. So here I am in the same parking lot where I've tested uh, this auto park feature previously. If you have not checked out my previous video, go ahead and uh, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below. You guys can go check that out uh, right by the thumbs up button and uh, subscribe button, make sure you hit that as well. But uh, because the recent updates that have come out with the Tesla software, uh, there are updates now to the auto park feature. The biggest one being the one we're gonna test out today is there's no need to have two cars or an open spot in between two cars for this to pick up. Now, it does pick up the actual lanes that are in the parking lot or lines, whatever you wanna call them, and it should be able to park itself just based off of that. So there's no cars needed for this to be able to pick up that spot and park itself. Uh, quick note too, I do have my Bluetooth turned off just so that way I don't get bothered by alerts that might come from my phone. That's why you're seeing this message here. I'm just using my normal key card that's right here. Uh, but let's go ahead and put this in drive and uh, we'll just go ahead and drive up to a few parking spots and see how well this works. Now keep in mind there's snow on the ground, there's salt on the ground, so I wonder if that will play a factor in how well this works, but we won't know until we try. So let's go ahead and try it. First we'll try the passenger side, see if it picks up these spots here that I'm passing on the right. And we should see a P or something pop up that should be over here somewhere that says uh, right there. So for example, we saw this P, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. Shift to reverse and start auto. And as you guys can see, I'm not actually doing anything. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. Now this spot is obviously next to a car, so I'm wondering if it picked up that or not but I'm gonna go ahead and let it do its thing and then we'll just go try it again. That guy did get in the car, so I wonder he's probably thinking, what in the world am I doing? There's a ton of open spots, but I'm parking right next to him. Um, so just keeping my hands close by in case I gotta take over. And uh, let's see, oh, that guy took off. This would be an interesting test now. There's no car there, so auto park complete. So. Again, it could have been that car that did it. So let's go ahead and try it again. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. And I'm gonna go this way. See if it picks up any of these spots here. And again, because there's snow on the ground, it might play a factor in being able to identify parking spots or not. You guys can see outside there. So far, nothing. Um, it's not picking up the ones, oh, that one it did. So let's go and hit that. Shift it to reverse, hit start. And so you guys can see how much snow there is in the ground. So again, it might be having difficulty with that, but it did pick up this spot. Again, not doing anything, just keeping close, keeping my hands close and my feet right next to the brakes in case I gotta take over and that is complete so that one worked out pretty well uh, it is a bit crooked let me uh, show you the footage here at least the car looks like it's crooked maybe not actually no I'm good this one is right on the line here uh, but this one there's plenty of space on this side so let's go try it someplace else there's another car back here I'm gonna try and find a spot where there's no cars at all it's just all it is is a few parking spots no car near it meaning it's not on the other side or on this side. So let's see if you can find a spot like that. Maybe somewhere along this side. So I'll turn the car around and maybe we'll try over here because I do see some lines on that side. 
So let's try that. So I'm going to turn here, come the other way. Uh, I will try in between cars again like I did in my previous video just for the sake of trying it to see if there's any improvement. Uh, but the two times that I did it now, uh, I feel like it didn't go back and forth a whole lot. It just was able to find the spot and pull into it one time forward, one time back, and it worked. So that's picking up the truck that's right there. I'm going to keep going and seeing and see if it picks up any of these spots here. It does. So right here, shift and reverse, hit start, and you guys can see there's no cars next to it. There's no cars behind it, so it's strictly picking up the lanes or the lines, whatever you want to call them, while the car is passing by. Wonderful job. Perfect. Let's see if it's going to go forward. No. One time. One time back, straighten out the steering wheel, and it was good to go. Here's another look at it, right in between the lanes there. Uh, or lines again whatever you call it sorry i keep saying that over and over again i'm gonna call them lines uh, but yeah no cars in the back no cars next to me except this truck which is one spot over so i didn't even park next to that um so i'll do one more try this way and then we'll go ahead and try and see if you can park in between a couple of cars all right let's see if this works not picking up any of these spots yet. Let's go check out the snow area. There's a little bit more snow coming up uh, since this is not cleaned up. I don't think this will pick that up. Actually, let's go this way because I see a few spots here that are a little bit more visible um, and there's no cars nearby. So let's see if this works. Use a turn signal and see. No, nope, that doesn't do anything. So far, it's not picking them up. So I would say this is a bit of a hit or a miss at this point. Oh, found that one. Let's do this one. Yeah, it found that spot. It didn't find the one next to the car, but it found this open spot, which it was supposed to. So we obviously passed by a few different ones. It didn't pick those up, um, but again, it picked up this one. So I'm wondering if, and again, one time back and it parked itself perfectly. No need to set itself up uh, moving back and forth. Um, I'm wondering again, if the snow is playing a factor in this just because it's it might be throwing it off. Unfortunately, there isn't a lot that's salt free or snow free at this time just because we've had almost a foot of snow just over a few days ago um, but I will make sure once this is all cleared out I'll do another test where there's no salt on the road or no snow on the road and maybe we'll get better results but the time that it's picked up you guys have seen it actually did a really good job parking um, so let's go ahead and try parking in between a couple cars to see if it still is able to do it just based off one back in um, or not so the previous one the previous test that I did uh, it did well overall it was just uh, it would have to adjust itself a few different times back and forth before it really got into a good spot and uh, it did use the cars instead of the lanes so uh, let's see if we can uh, see any improvements based on uh, the cars so I'm gonna just go ahead and drive up to a spot here maybe in this We'll see if we can pick up that spot there between the Lexus and the Nissan here. Oh, there's a car behind me. I'm gonna let him pass. There he goes. All right, let me go ahead and pull up forward a little bit more. It should detect the spot here in a second. Yep. Park. Reverse. Start and you should park between the Nissan and the Lexus. So this, similar to the last time that I did this test, um, it does take a wider turn, so it's going to go ahead and move forward, and then it should correct itself to get into that spot. Let's 
doing well. So far, so good. Did a great job. Now, I'm curious to see, I'm gonna go ahead and step out. I'm curious to see, in my previous test, the back of it would be aligned to the cars that were next to it. And both this time and last time, with the open test that we just did, it looks like it aligned to the actual line itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and step out take a look at that and see how well it's aligned. Here we are. So right now the car is aligned perfectly to where it should be, as you guys can see there. It did go past this car, so I don't think it's using this car as a reference point. And it did go past that car as well. I'll show you from this side. So I don't think it's using that car as a reference point. I think it's actually now using the lines as it should with this new update so you guys can see my car is well ahead of this car so i would say that's a, a big improvement big update from uh, the last time we did this test and again this is the part that i love about the tesla is they continuously improve over time you don't do anything they just release updates and they get better how awesome is that all right, so let's go ahead and get back in. All right, guys, that's it for this video. As you guys can see, I think the salt and the snow is playing a bit of a factor, but the spot that it did pick up by itself, it did a great job actually parking in first try uh, without the cars as well as with the car, the one test that I did. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.